After a historically mild flu season, a resurgence of common colds and other viruses in New Jersey signals what might be in store for the rest of the country as pandemic restrictions continue to be eased. While influenza and respiratory syncytial virus RSV dipped to record lows during the pandemic, the state health department in New Jersey said the overall level of respiratory viruses has been higher than would typically be expected for this time of year. We're in a different world now, said Dr. Ashwin Jathavidam, an internist with Leonia Medical Associates and Chief of Infectious Diseases at Englewood Health. Most of these are mild infections, things that, pre-pandemic, you wouldn't have thought twice about. Increased testing to rule out COVID-19 has detected viruses that previously might have been shrugged off. And the relaxation of social distancing requirements and reduction of mask wearing have brought back conditions that enable viruses to flourish. New Jersey's not alone, last month, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention alerted health officials in southern states about reports of increasing RSV infections outside the normal fall and winter season. Carnival Cruise Line is providing an alternative to unvaccinated cruisegoers. Beginning July 31st, unvaccinated individuals over the age of 12 who are departing from Florida will only have to show proof of a travel insurance policy in order to board ships. Asian countries experiencing their first major surges of the coronavirus, Thailand, South Korea, Vietnam, announced or imposed tough measures Friday that they hope can slow the spread of COVID-19 before their health care systems are overwhelmed. Arizona reported its biggest daily increase in COVID-19 cases in two months on Friday, as the coronavirus continues to spread mainly among unvaccinated people. Kansas reported its biggest surge in COVID-19 cases in more than three months on Friday, as the faster spreading Delta variant becomes a growing public health issue within the state. The theme park Legoland New York officially opened to the public on Friday, after its initial opening was delayed last summer due to the coronavirus pandemic. Keep refreshing this page for the latest news. Want more? Sign up for USA Today's Coronavirus Watch newsletter to receive updates directly to your inbox and join our Facebook group. For months, the Biden White House refrained from criticizing Republican officials who played down the importance of coronavirus vaccinations or sought to make political hay of the federal government's all-out effort to drive shots into arms. Not any longer. With the COVID-19 vaccination rate plateauing across the country, the White House is returning fire at those they see as spreading harmful misinformation or fear about the shots. When South Carolina Gov.